Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, today, beginning of the new Congress, our new president hasn't even taken the oath of office, and we are throwing fiscal discipline out the door. This whole idea of PAYGO is gone. It doesn't exist. It's a charade. Let's take a look at what this bill actually does. This bill proposes to add all these new kids on the S-CHIP program, and then in the out years, it pushes, shoves them off a cliff, taking 7 million children off of the S-CHIP program. They do this only to carve and jam this bill into compliance with PAYGO. I received a letter from the CBO just this morning that if this bill was actually carried through, if you didn't kick all of these children off of this program, it would cost $42 billion more. This bill is a $42 billion deficit hole in it. The spending increase in S-CHIP in this bill increases on average 23% a year. Madam Speaker, Medicare is going bankrupt, according to the trustees, and that increases at 6.5% a year. We are depriving a bipartisan opportunity to extend the current S-CHIP program, which would have an enormous vote here if you brought a bipartisan bill to the table. That is not what is happening. Budget gimmicks, fiscal irresponsibility, $42 billion deficit, and the creation of a brand new entitlement program. And what's worse, we are committing our taxpayer dollars, which are so precious in this difficult economic time, to pay for insurance that people already have. 2.4 million people who already have private health insurance are going to get kicked off of their private health insurance, and the taxpayers are going to pick up the tab. That's not fiscal responsibility. Let's solve the uninsured problem. Let's come together and fix the health care problems in America. Let's not bankrupt the country. Let's not play budget gimmicks. Let's not throw pay-go out the window. And let's not take away the health insurance that people already have and make them have government-sponsored health insurance. We should reject this bill.